All right, guys, welcome back to Cosmic. We are here today with a pretty much pre-recorded video. It's going to be on the background. I'm going to be talking about something that um, I've been holding for a long time. And I just want to get it off my chest. Basically, I know that you guys hate when I complain about Cosmic. And I promised that I wouldn't do it in my videos. But today, I wanted to um, make this video separately just to basically tell you guys what I don't like about Cosmic and which may be the reason why I might actually quit Cosmic. And I know guys this is sad news but I am just so done with these small things that just make Cosmic unbearable and some of them are not small, some of them just destroy the server and the enjoyability of the server. So, let me start with some history of Cosmic. Basically, Cosmic, it's always had a way of making things annoying. And just, there's always these, some small retarded updates that they just have to push out just to get something, some change on the server. And basically, the first one I want to start from is, this is not something that, uh... That concludes the uh, situation right now. Uh, this is just history of Cosmic. You guys know uh, if you're true OG players that there was this ice aspect glitch which uh, made you have well sometimes you had speed 5 and sometimes you just lost your gears and the funny thing is they actually said that this is legit like this is supposed to happen and you needed to take off your boots to get rid of it and I think that's like straight up retarded and I'm glad that they fixed it so I'm not gonna keep keep talking about that too much but um they did fix that but they, they were first they were like yeah that's part of cosmic you know deal with it and blah 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 I think that's pretty stupid that they had to do that but yeah so the next thing is um of course the trap trap glitch uh that was a that was a part of cosmic for a long time and I'm not gonna keep talking about it too much but basically uh, if you don't know what it was, uh, on the old Cosmic One trap, the trap enchant was basically the OPS enchant on sword. You just you just got stuck when you got trapped. If you if you had slabs under you or water near you, you just you just got trapped forever, and that was bad. And Cosmic, it's good that they got rid of it, but yeah, I'm not gonna keep talking about that too much. But that's just some history. Of cosmic and of course there's the lily proxy which is kind of back I have to say guys I'm so sorry to say this but I've been getting lily proxy a little bit lately and it's not just uh, it, it doesn't just say you seem to be logged in already that's not what it says I literally got DC'd and it said lily proxy that, like that's just what it said and that's just stupid it's back and I think it's because of the amount of enchants there is and the worst of all, guys, that's been tormenting the good PvPers for a long time is the crashing on 1.7. And this is this is something that's, like, it is one of the biggest problems on Cosmic. If you guys didn't know, I absolutely hate 1.8. It's such a bad update from, um, from Mojang. And the hit detection, it's not on point. It's, like, half of the hits don't register at all. It's just absolutely stupid, and if you think that 1.7 PvP is exactly the same as 1.8, you're just playing out wrong. That it is not even close to being the same, it's literally awful. And if you don't see the difference, you, you're you probably not very experienced in PvP, so... So, please don't be commenting down below like, 1.8 is exactly the same, But yeah, it's, it's not the same, it's awful, and... The, the reason why I'm complaining about this is because uh, Cosmic basically has some kind of enchants or some kind of things that happen every once in a while that makes everyone crash. And I think that's stupid because like, it, I, I, I don't know why it happens, but people that are using 1.7.10, they get it at the same time. Uh, I, I've often had a situation where me and, for example, Devon, we are using 1.7 and we crash exactly at the same time. So there's something happening on Cosmic that makes you crash. And I believe it's got something to do with the scoreboard, but uh, most people think that it is something to do with the custom enchants. 
and I actually think so too because uh, I don't crash on um, Vanilla Planet, for example. They have a scoreboard, but I don't crash there. I've never crashed on Vanilla Planet, which is kind of strange, and it it just it doesn't have the custom and chance, so that must be the reason. And the only time I've crashed on um, on Vanilla Planet is when I log on, but after that, no crashing. So that is a huge problem on Cosmic, and basically the problem is that some people they they're able to abuse the 1.7 because they want to take the risk of crashing, but meanwhile they're taking the risk they're being like crazy good at PvP because 1.7 it just destroys you if you're using 1.8, it just absolutely destroys you. So that is definitely a problem if people are abusing it against you, and I don't really like the fact that the server can be just completely and utterly com just completely luck because that's what that's what it becomes if if everyone uses 1.7 because you're just gonna crash at random times and that's stupid so yeah that's that's a problem they really they should really really work on uh, 1.7 because if they do that honestly I think that the server just becomes better for good PvPers instantly and pretty much all the other problems that, I, that I'm gonna complain about in the next few minutes they are completely overwritten like if if they fix the 1.7 crashing on Cosmic I know it's a client-sided thing but there's something that does things to your 1.7 client on Cosmic and it makes you, your Minecraft crash so if they fix that somehow if they fix the heavy-sided thing that happens to 1.7 users they they're good. They're all good. Like I don't even care about the other other problems. That is the biggest problem on Cosmic, and well, uh, I I just don't know what to say about it. Like it's it is such a huge problem, and if they fix it, I'm literally gonna play Cosmic forever. Like it's so good. But then uh, the next thing I wanted to complain about is basically I don't wanna put pressure on Yiprin or anything, I, I'm, I'm not here to roast Yiprin or anything, but basically I've, I've noticed that since Yiprin came in, there's been a lot of enchants that encourage people to run instead of PvP. And that, that's that's a huge problem, because um, this, is, this server is called Cosmic PvP, and you, you, should, you should be able to PvP, and you shouldn't just be able to run like you, you guys know if you play on cosmic everyone is derping and the only way you can actually kill a person is if you somehow two bang him before he runs to his derp and i i don't think that's balanced cosmic really tries to make these things balanced like the first day uh nobody does damage that's the first thing that uh, that that's happened on cosmic that was before the reset nobody did damage and everyone could just easily run to their derps and just do whatever they wanted because nobody did damage then they implemented drunk and rage those two things they made the damage incredible and first i didn't actually realize how how balanced it it kind of was because um if you if you got a lot of hits in a row you basically you just you just d did more damage so people couldn't run from you and that, that was, in my opinion, very balanced. But um, then uh, people thought they, they do just way too much damage. And Rage, it got nerfed by a lot. And while, while that is uh, good for some people, now Cosmic thinks, well, they don't do enough damage now, so let's apply, let's, um, let's do something else. Let's make a new enchant. And this... Enchant is probably the enchant that literally made me quit Cosmic. It's Devour. And while that might sound good, that for me at least, like you guys might be thinking like, Oh, Fish, you're gonna do more damage, you can two-bang people. And that's really been my thing for, for the past um, few months, that I can two-bang people with Rage. Because I get a lot of hits on them, a lot of combos and stuff. And even if they have teammates, I can still win somehow. And the problem with Devour is that it is a complete teaming enchant. Like, you literally can um, completely overwrite skill with a lot more teammates. 
if you have three people hitting the person with bleed, basically how devour works is uh, you you stack bleed on a person, you hit him multiple times, and the more you hit him, the more bleed stacks on him, and the more damage you do with devour. And the problem with that is that um, if you have a lot of people, you can stack the devour on the you can stack bleed on the person that you, you're three v oneing, and I'm usually the one who's getting 3v1, and before with Rage, I could hit all of them once, and that would stop their combo. That would stop their Rage combo. But now with Devour, it doesn't stop it. It it j just keeps going. It's impossible to counter. If, you, if, if they have four people, you cannot win that. And that's, that's a huge problem. That is why I am literally quitting. And th there's just no way to counter it. Absolutely no way, and the only way that it used to be uh, able to counter it was Skull Splitter and Serrated Strikes. Basically, what they did was AOE damage, and this was something that I kind of kept a secret from you guys because I it was really OP, and I didn't want you, I didn't want my enemies watching my videos to know about the power of uh, the AOE damage that Serrated Strikes did. Basically, it's it was kind of a glitch, but not really. Uh, when you when you did serrated strikes when you were getting like 3v1 uh, If you hit one person and they're all near it does AOE damage and hits some hits them all and I got accused of kill aura when I did this which is pretty funny, but basically if you had rage uh, The rage would build up because you hit three people at once if you hit them twice you're up six hits with rage and with which that that means that you do crazy damage and I did that a lot and I was able to beat teamers which was amazing and now cosmic decided to nerf that because some, somehow it was too OP and I do get that because some people got one shotted and two shotted but I think I personally think that teamers should be somehow punished and punished like that uh, teaming is just way too OP right now it's stupid, and I think most people on Cosmic don't like the fact that you can 10v1 people that are way better than the people that are 10v1ing you. Like, that that was such a huge uh, pro, a good thing about Cosmic that you were able to 3v1, 1v3 some people and actually win it. And now they have completely removed that. So... That that those two skull splitter and devour they are, they're the two biggest things why I've quit cosmic so they should bring back skull splitter and serrated strikes and just straight up remove devour like there's nothing good with that enchant it's playing out bad it's an awful idea in my opinion and well they could in a way I guess fix it if they made the bleed stack stop every time the person that applied the bleed got hit. But that's kind of hard, and in a way, I think. But if they did that, that would pretty much fix the enchant, which would be nice. And I think it would be pa balanced then, because then Axis would still do a little bit more damage than Swords, but Swords would be a health source, and uh, they, they would have the debuffs and buffs and stuff like that. So, yeah, that would be balanced. But then for, for some other stuff that, that's a little bit smaller, but there's still a big problem to Cosmic in my opinion. Basically, what I was talking about was when Yiprin came in, she started making enchants, or, well, uh, mods and developers and stuff like that, that were um, in her command, they started making these enchants. And I'm not blaming this on Yiprin. Not saying that. I, I just wanted to mention, after she came in, this stuff started just magically happening. Uh, basically, these new enchants, like, uh, Guardians, for example, they just knock you away from PvP. Every time you PvP with Lucky and Guardians, basically maxed out gear, it's just a mess. Like the PvP, it's a mess. It's awful. I do not like PvPing with Guardians. Like, even if I have them, it's just flying around and getting knocked in the air and they break your gear and they're just overpowered as heck. And it's not PvP, it's just flying. It's stupid. And... And I just like I don't see the idea of them. They're just dumb. They're just an awful idea. The second thing is uh, anti gravity. And as that might sound weird that I hate anti gravity, well, it's it's again a runner enchant. And 
springs i guess it wasn't enough so now they have to make they had to make an enchant that is just so annoying for the people that are chasing someone and like i just don't get the idea of anti-gravity it should like they should just keep stay with springs like anti-gravity it's it just makes the game annoying it makes pvp a little more annoying because you have to twitch up and search for the player that's above you and it's just in my opinion it's just it's just a bad enchant another thing uh is undead ruse and i don't think that's an absolutely awful enchant they have to nerf it a lot the the time the person is invis and practically invincible at the same time it is way too long and i don't think anyone should be invincible for that amount of time because either they can get crazy combos on you while they're in invincible for about three seconds or four seconds and also they can they can run they can pearl spam which leads us to this the next bad thing about cosmic which is ender pearl spam and this thing right here ender pearl spamming it is literally one of the worst ideas i've ever seen like it's stupid I, I don't I don't know if it was a glitch that came in at some point or if it was someone's retarded idea for running. It's basically just for running. It's it's got no good use except just running. Keep in mind, people have derps. They they're about fifty blocks away from their derps. I don't think Cosmic should Im implement more things to help people run to their derps. Like it's just stupid. Like it's so hard to be the one chaser with these all these things because literally when somebody ender pearl spams the chaser does not have a chance he doesn't have a chance like there's nothing you can do you 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 cannot have enough skill to chase the person like there's no no such thing as enough skill because you cannot know where he pearls uh if he just 360 pearls everywhere and I think that's dumb because you, you're not giving the person a chance. You're not giving the chaser a chance. You're giving the runner way too many chances. Like, people can just run. And the funny thing that I've seen happening uh, lately is people run to their derps and then they call the chaser easy because they couldn't kill the person. And I have no idea why this happens, but that just means that Cosmic isn't a PvP server anymore. It's a running server. He basically beat you at running, and now he's calling you easy, because he got away. It's like, it's like, come on, like, that's just, that's just stupid. I do not understand why Cosmic has implemented so many things for running. So, those are some points, uh, some, some of the bigger things that I wanted to talk about. They are absolutely awful, they're making the experience for me... Uh, playing on Cosmic pretty bad and that is why I am for now quitting Cosmic and I just like I, I just cannot play on a server where skill isn't rewarding at all like people can just 3v1 you you'll take 10 times more damage because you're getting 2v1 or 3v1 there's just no point in that that's that's worse than servers where there's no custom enchants and I like the custom enchants. I like the idea of uh, Rage, for example. It was an amazing enchant, but they had to nerf it because they went above the teamers. For some reason, Wuffles, because <coughs> they like to 10v1 people. And I know that this is a teaming server, uh, quote-unquote. And I, I know that teaming is supposed to be slightly rewarded, but not to the point where you do... 10 times more damage when you have teammates. I don't think that's like any in any way balanced that y you just do more damage when you have more players. I, th I think it should be enough uh, of an advantage that you have more players. You shouldn't do more damage when you have more players. I think that's absolutely stupid. I think the person that's 1v3ing you, 1v3ing the three players, I think he should do more damage. And that's... That's what Rage did. If he was actually skilled, he did more damage. Because um, he was able to get more hits and more... And with the uh, Skull Splitter and Serrated Strikes, he was able to do AoE, which was a super nice nerf for the teamers. And I think that's... 
that's very balanced because um, it is very easily counterable. I didn't mention this, but I never got uh, one banged by Rage or uh, not Rage. Sorry, um, I never I never got one banged by Serrated Strikes or Skull Splitter because every time I teamed, not now. Every time I teamed, I I I played it smart. I me and my teammates we were separated. We weren't in one small pile. I think I think it's stupid to play like that. And I think people that play like that should be punished. And that's what happened before, but now it's gone. And it's it's just like these small things, they just they make the server good or bad. And another thing that I wanted to talk about, this is super small, but I don't think anyone really likes the this implementation of the XP bottle nerf. Really, I've I've just seen so many threads in the on the forums about it like people they just they just want to bottle up their XP when they go for envoys and what this does now they basically uh, made a cooldown for the XP bottles they made a cooldown where you cannot uh, slash XP bottle your XP to get go for the envoys and why I think that's stupid is because already people aren't even going in the war zone. The only time people are going in the war zone are envoys. And keep in mind, this is a PvP server, not just a grinding server. And no one is PvPing except for the 10 people that 10v1 everyone in the war zone. Because now 10v1ing is stupidly OP and you can't really do anything about it. Even if you have like three people, they, they just always have the stupidly high upper hand. Not just 10 people, it, they, it just, it's times 10. The teaming power it's just dumb so now when no one wants to go in the war zone uh, they have another reason why not to go in the war zone because they might die with their XP they cannot XP bottle it even to go for the envoys like rip envoy campers there's gonna be no one in the war zone I think that's dumb and just a suggestion uh, seriously cosmic Please stop making these runner enchants like they're just dumb. They they don't reward the good players that just want to get those kills and they, they just don't. And what what I would like Cosmic to do is nerf a lot of things. Okay, I'm going to just a little re recap guys. So basically play carrier. They should significantly nerf the amount of time it takes uh, for the play carriers to explode. Which is, it's way too fast. They need to, they need to just make it longer. The fuse time should be longer, and the amount of time you're poisoned and blinded and slowness and everything, it should be nerfed by a lot. Cause it's just stupid when people get play carried. Like, it, it, it's just not funny. Cause if you work hard for the gear that you get from the kill, it, it just, it just, you, jo you just don't get it with play carrier. So also guardians. Uh, they should significantly again nerf the amount of knockback they do to you. It shouldn't, and also the guardians they literally take like seven hits to kill them or five, and that's that's stupid because that's that's sometimes more than it takes to actually kill a player. So the guardians they might be more buffed than players, and that's just that's just absolutely dumb. Also, undead ruse they should just completely remove. The invisibility time. Also, enderpearl spam. They should completely remove it. There are ways you can get away without enderpearl spamming. Even if you're getting 10v1, there are ways, unless they are very good at chasing. So, remove the enderpearl spam. It's just dumb. Anti gravity. Again, cosmic. This wouldn't be a bad enchant if the server was 1.7. Because the hit detection is good, and you can actually hit the person that's like literally flying. But now, when it's 1.8, the server the server cannot detect the hits that I get on on a person that has anti gravity. And sometimes when server is lagging, the person glitches in the air, and I cannot hit him, but he can hit me because of lag. Okay, and he literally falls down, but I I cannot reach him at any point. And this is because well. This is just because of ping, but it doesn't matter if I if I have better or worse ping. 
he's going to be able to hit me first because of anti-gravity if the, if the server is lagging. Also, Devour. Please just remove this thing. Like, it's the worst thing ever. Or just, like, you need to either remove it or nerf it in this precise way. You need to make it so that the person that hits, uh, hits you with bleed, the bleed stacks, they must end when the person that applied them gets hit. Otherwise, it's just way too OP. It's a teaming enchant. It's dumb. It's absolutely dumb. And you need to be able to counter the teaming somehow. Like, Cosmic has... Yeah, I'm not even going to start preaching about it again. You know what I said. Sorry, I had to get something to drink. Been talking for a long time, so... Those are the things that I want, want to be changed. Some of them don't need to be completely changed before I come back to Cosmic. But, first of all, Devour. It just... It just has to be gone before I come in, before I come back. Like, I cannot play on Cosmic when Devour is here. So, I have officially quit Cosmic now till Devour gets fixed. And that's a sad story. There's going to be some links to uh, forum posts in the description. Uh, if you guys agree with me with some of these things, make sure to... Tell, us, tell me in the comments below, also by liking the video if you agree with some stuff. And um, I, I guess that's going to be the episode. I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs>